Hey guys, another tutorial here from Dan on a Bouncy Castle. Now I know there hasn't been a tutorial. To, can't speak today. I know there hasn't been a tutorial for a while, um, for a couple of reasons. One, been snowed under with work, and secondly, I have been ill. However, I am back in full flow and back in After Effects after a long time being absent from doing After Effects tutorials. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through my short film called End which is available now um, www.buyend.weebly.com um, please buy to help support our next production and so on and so forth I mean there's trailers on my channels but anyway bottom line is what we're going to be creating today is this kind of effect where you got the heartbeat rate and it comes out with the end title very exciting so that's what we're doing today and let's not waste any more time and get started so we're going to create a new composition I'm just going to have a widescreen um, PAL so, um, preset I'm going to call it end title first of all we're going to create a background we're going to go new solid we're going to make it black we're going to call it BG for background. We're going to go effect generate ramp and change it from linear ramp to radial ramp. If I'm going a bit fast, I'm very sorry, I'm going to slow down. Okay, so I see where it's white. We're going to click there and we're going to change the end color to black. And we're going to change our start color. To a darkish grey, like that. That may be a bit bright, and what we can do to control that very quickly is we can go at the brightness and contrast. And if it's too bright, just bring it down. We'll set it to minus ten for now. There we go. Now we've got our background. The next thing we want to create is a grid. Um, going to go layer new adjustment layer now you can't actually see this very well but I do actually have a grid so we're going to go generate grid we need to mess with these settings a little bit till it looks about right Wrong way. and that looks good for now what we want to do is set the blending mode to add. That way we've still got our light thing there. Um, what we do want to do is decrease the opacity a bit and the border. Bring that in. Now it's still like there, and when, but when you zoom out, it looks a bit weird. But nonetheless, go and go effect, stylize, glow. Change color B to a greeny color, and change where it says glow colors. Change that to A and B colors. Increase the glow intensity. Increase the radius. Decrease the threshold. Don't want to mess it too much. And another thing we want to do is grab the ellipse tool, just hold down over the squares, grab the ellipse tool. Ooh. Make sure we've got our adjustment layer selected. And then hold down shift and we get a perfect circle. And hold down the space bar to move your ellipse. And then we can feather it so hit the F key for feathering and feather it like that there we go now what we want to do is create our title so I'm going to grab our text tool up here and I'm using the font Century Gothic if you don't have it uh, google it you should be able to find it online and we just want to make sure capitals is on and type end 
I believe this is the font I used, but I cannot guarantee. Scale it up, hit the S key to show the scale, and bring it to it looks about right. I've I changed the size a few times. Um, for instance, in the actual film, it's a lot smaller, just because it worked better that way. Um, this grid thing makes it look a bit more like, um, you know, one of them heartbeat monitors. Secondly, select off of the end, create new solid, um, make a make a blue solid. I'm going to call it line. This is going to be a line. Turn it off for now, but make sure it's selected. And grab our pen tool. If you hold down Shift. I believe you get a straight line. Hmm. Right. What you want to do, what looks really cool, is if you line it up with the E bit, tell you what, grab the end and hit V to grab our move tool and line it up with that, line this E middle bit with this grid line. Then we're going to grab our pen tool again. Get it where, it where it fades off. Like that. Up to the top, down to the bottom, back to the middle, and off. Like that. Now, you want to straighten that up a bit. I'll tell you what, I can do that quickly. Hold on the spacebar to move around in your view. But that is looking pretty cool. Hold down to command and you can move your points. Fantastic. Okay. Now, grab the end title tool. And I think I've accidentally drawn the mask on this one, but that's very easy to correct. We see where it says mask. Um, select the mask and press command X or control X on PC, then grab the line and command V, and now the line has it. We can move it down, and as you remember, we did scale it up, so hit the S key on end and the S key on line. We're going to alt click the stopwatch and pick whip it to the scale of our end title, and then there we go. We also want to move it, align. Position, move it over until it fits. Beautiful. Now grab our end title, hold down on the ellipsal till we get our rectangle tool, and we're just going to highlight the end and then set it to subtract. On the line, you can turn it on now. I'm going to go effect, generate, stroke. And we're going to go on transparent, increase the brush hardness, and you want to try and match the thickness. It's a bit too thick. And you might want to break, move it up a bit. You might want to move it a bit so that it lines up with the E better. And for now, that's looking pretty cool. Um, next, we want to animate our start and our end. Come in a bit. Grab our end. Hit a keyframe. Move in a bit. Oh, whoops! I mean, go to the where you want it to finish. And I might end all the way. Hit the U key so we can see our keyframes. Delete that one, and then a bit in. Grab our start and 
hit use so we can see this extra keyframe. Go a bit afterwards and go like that. So if we hit this button here, toggle mask, now we just see our line and as you can see it travels. Now what you can notice is it's not really long enough so all we have to do is grab these two keyframes and move them until you get a good end. Now that's the end of the tutorial, I'm out of time but all you need to do is add a new adjustment layer and add a green glow and there you have it. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon with some more tutorials. Remember, down on the bouncy castle, rate, comment and subscribe.